so objects don't fall into the sun simply because they're moving too fast. It's the same reason that the International Space Station doesn't fall to Earth. It is falling, but it's falling fast enough that it's actually missing the Earth. Um, that's how orbits work. And so the same thing with the comet. It's coming in really, really close, but it's going to be whipped around and flung out the other side. That's not to say that collisions never happen. You might remember the very famous comet Shoemaker-Levy. It wandered a bit too close to the planet Jupiter, which of course has its own massive gravitational field, got torn apart and actually slammed into, in several different impacts, uh, the surface, the, the atmosphere of Jupiter. And that was a very exciting event as well. Do, do galactic astronomers, as people that do the astronomy that you do, take an interest in comets, or is this Mickey Mouse? Oh, we'd never call it Mickey Mouse. It is, it is something very different from the stuff we do. It's very nearby. It's something that changes as a function of time, which is not something that we're used to. Um, but, you know, if there's a possibility of something spectacular and unique streaking across the sky, I don't think you can stop from being excited about the spectacle of the whole thing. And you only have to look at previous comets. Comets are pretty rare. I mean, look at that. That's Comet McNaught from 2006. These things don't come around very often, but sometimes when they do, they make quite a show. And that was visible from the southern hemisphere. And you can see this beautiful spectacle of this curving dust tail. Have you ever seen a comet? I have. I remember as a child, Halley's Comet came around, and I was, I was very excited at the prospect. And, and I don't think it was visible, or at least I didn't see it. And I was so disappointed because it wasn't going to come around again for another 76 years. Um, but the comets that I saw in the late 90s were Comet Hakataki, which was really spectacular, and Comet Hale Bob, which was an, also another you know, really fantastic comet. Well, I was living at the time somewhere where we had really, really dark skies. So you know, you, you'd just be walking home at night and there would be this thing in the sky. You know, you couldn't miss it.